A reading from the second book of Kings. Joachim was 18 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned three months in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Nehusta, daughter of Elmathon of Jerusalem. He did evil in the sight of the Lord, just as his forebears had done. At that time, the officials of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, attacked Jerusalem, and the city became under siege. Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, himself arrived at the city. While his servants were besieging it, then Jehoiakim, king of Judah, together with his mother, his ministers, officers, and functionaries surrendered to the king of Babylon, who, in the eighth year of his reign, took him captive, and he carried off all the treasures of the temple of the Lord and those of the palace, and broke up all the gold utensils that Solomon, king of Israel, had provided in the temple of the Lord as the Lord had foretold. He deported all Jerusalem. 
all the officers and men of the army, 10,000 in number, and all the craftsmen and smiths. None were left among the people of the land except the poor. He deported Heuakim to Babylon and also led captive from, East, from Jerusalem to Babylon. The king's mothers and wives, his functionaries, and the chief men of the land. The king of Babylon also captive to Babylon all 7,000 men of the army and a 1,000 craftsmen and smiths, all of them trained soldiers. In, pl in place of Jehoiakim, the king of Babylon appointed his uncle, Methania, king, and changed his name to Sediaiah, the word of the Lord. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. O God, the nations have come into your inheritance. They have defiled your holy temple. They have laid Jerusalem in ruins. They have given the corpse of your servants as food to the birds of heaven, the flesh of your faithful ones to the beasts of the earth. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. They have poured out their blood like water round about Jerusalem, and there is no one to bury them. We have become the reproach of our neighbors, the scorn and decisions of those around us. O oh Lord, how long will you be angry forever? Will your, will your jealousy burn like fire? For the glory of your name, O oh Lord, deliver us. Remember not against us the inequities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us for we are brought very low. For, For the, the glory, glory of your name, O oh Lord, deliver us. Help us, O oh God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. For the glory, the glory of, of your name, O oh Lord, deliver us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? Did we not drive out demons in your name? Did we not do mighty deeds in your name? And then I will declare to them solemnly, I never knew you. Depart from me, you evildoers. 
Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise person who built their house on rock. The rain fell. The floods came. The wind blew and buffeted the house. But it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine but does not act on them will be like a, a fool who built their house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, the winds blew and buffeted the house, and it collapsed and was completely destroyed. When Jesus finished these words, the crowds were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as their scribes. In the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a, a wise person who built their house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, the winds blew and buffeted the house. But the house didn't collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. And then this passage these verses are followed by the contrast of one who built their house on sand. The wind and the rains came and shook the house and the house collapsed. And the message is that having your house built on solid rock is the best decision and the best option. The house is your life. And the question it raises is simply, how strong am I? How strong am I to face the storms, the hardships, and the crosses that will inevitably come my way? When life is easy and all goes smoothly, we do not necessarily need great inner strength. When money is plentiful, when we have friends, when we have our health, when our family and relationship goes well, you know, life can be really good. And in that case, life can even be easy. But none of us go through life without facing some storms, some problems. And when that happens, we need inner strength. In this story from Jesus, the rain, the floods, the wind that buffeted the house, they're actually a good thing. Why? Because they allow the foundation of the house to show whether it is strong or weak. And so it is with you and me. The foundation of our lives must be our fidelity into the Word of God. Do you believe the Word of God? Do you take time every day to, to read, to study, and to allow God's word to become the foundation of your life. The foundation of what you say and the foundation of what you do. And Jesus in this story makes it very clear to us that we will have a solid foundation only when we listen to his words, live our lives according to his words. Only when we participate in the sacraments, 
when we welcome him in the Eucharist, when we go to him and confess him and get our slate cleaned. Today, look at the foundation of your life, the foundation of your faith. Is it built on sand or on rock? The minute something bad happens, does your faith collapse? And so we pray. Please stand. We pray that those who work and exercise ministry and invoke the name of the Lord Jesus may be the first to do the will of his Father. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our that nations may stop doing evil in the sight of the Lord and turn back to the ways of sound morality and justice thus strengthening their national defenses and promoting world peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord our that we may build our spiritual homes on a solid rock foundation, put into practice all that we hear from the Lord, ready to stand firm against the storms and floods that will test our faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our For those who are brought very low through trial and distress of mind, body, and spirit, especially those with the COVID illness, those with cancer and diabetes, that God's compassion may quickly come to them in their hour of need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our for all our loved ones who have died, that the power of this Mass and our fervent prayer for them may speed their entrance into God's heavenly kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we ask Mary, our mother, to intercede with us as we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We make these and all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual food. Blessed be God of the By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share it. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, and it will become our spiritual drink. <clears throat> Lord, wash away our iniquity, cleanse us from all our sins. Pray, my friends, that this our sacrifice 
may be acceptable to God our Almighty Father. May the Lord Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that, cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift up the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, all mighty and eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit might, in the praise of your manifold wisdom, wisdom, be manifest as the church. And so holy, with the angels... Holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And Lord, you are holy indeed, the fount of all holiness. And make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and again, giving thanks and praise, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. And he said, Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and confess the resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held, that giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Michael and Gustavo, our bishops, clergy, and people everywhere. And remember, Willie Rodriguez, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, uh, together we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our lives, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, and the glory, and the Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us share with each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Gracias. 
Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is now ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of death. May God protect us in the sickness and death. May God help you to be humbly away and to God the Prince of the Heavenly Host by the power of God. Cast into hell, Satan. And all the evil spirits who cry for the world, seeking the ruins of souls, amen. Ayah, ayah, ayah.